Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Sick Eric back again with another video and today I'm just going to be quickly going over uh, my experience. It's been about almost two weeks that I have had the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and I just want to share my thoughts and I, my, what I think of it is a really, really nice phone. Um, I have not had any slowdowns on it whatsoever. It is snappy. Of course, we're still in the honeymoon stages of this phone. We'd have to see another uh, few months down the road if this phone will slow down. But this phone has been awesome. The camera has been awesome as far as taking pictures, recording video. The whole dual aperture is really, really cool. As you can see right here, it's on f1.5. And then you can switch it to f2. To let in more light it's a really really nice feature i've been enjoying everything i've been enjoying the um little ar emojis on it it's really really cool i know it's a little gimmicky but i like them they are cute my wife likes them you know we use them a lot between each other so that is it's it's pretty good then let's see if they'll they'll improve it um maybe in another update to provide more uh, emojis or whatnot um Another thing I've been liking about this phone are the speakers. The stereo speakers are really, really loud and just full in detail compared to other phones. Um, they may not get as loud as like the Pixel 2 XL, but they are really, really nice. And it's definitely a step up from the Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Uh, detail is just amazing on it. Um, the battery life on it. Uh, has been okay um, It has not been excellent, but it's been good if that makes any sense My LG seems to last a little bit longer than this phone does and this has a 3500 milliamp the V30 has a 3400 milliamp I believe and it seems to last just a little bit longer. I don't know uh, what the deal it is some sort of battery optimization or what but uh battery life is is pretty good uh, it'll get you through a day without no problem and that is from a 12 hour a day charge maybe charge it overnight or the next day and you should be uh fine but um this phone has been excellent i have not had any slowdowns whatsoever it's very very snappy and fast as you can see it's just really really nice all the features um the uh dual aperture on the camera the stereo speakers the placement of the fingerprint sensor is definitely gotten a lot better and it's more uh easier to find and access uh, the finish is just awesome. I love this core blue color. It is beautiful and it is amazing. You got to slap a case on it though because it is a fingerprint magnet and it is made out of glass. But the glass this time of uh, this time around is thicker. It's Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back. But it is thicker on uh, this device and the frame is also a little bit more thicker as well than it was on the S8 and S8 Plus. It's a, very, it's a nice hefty phone. It feels excellent in the hands. Uh, the display is awesome. I switched it all the way up to this highest, re highest resolution and I have no complaints here. This is the best display you will find on a smartphone to date. Um, it's just insane. Samsung really does um, improve on their displays each year. It gets a little bit brighter than last year's. Uh, I think it's like 15% brighter, but it's really, really nice display. All the detail on it is just amazing. See if I can get this to focus or not. The details on it are just amazing. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, the phone, like I said, is fast and snappy. I do not have any complaints. My favorite features are the camera, uh, the dual aperture, and then you also have your telephoto lens. All the little different options, like as far as swiping down on your fingerprint to bring down your notifications and stuff like that, is little nice features. Uh, the Samsung included the stereo speakers, again, one of my favorites. Um, it's nice to have a phone that's just loud. When you have it on speakerphone and you're talking to somebody, it, this thing is just loud and clear and crisp. Calls made on there have been uh, nice and clear. Um, I haven't really played, I don't really play a lot of games on my phone. But uh, so I can't tell you as far as speed wise, six gigabytes is definitely 
the sweet spot for Samsung phones. You will never get any slowdown. This thing flies. It's smooth. Now, like I said, um, now we'll just change in a few months or six months down the road like I did with the S8. The S8, when I got rid of it, was very, very laggy. And I had to do several different um, factory resets to make it okay. But it still ended up slowing down. So hopefully that's not the issue. Snapdragon 8, 845 on here has been awesome. Uh, like I said, the camera has like its own DRAM on there. So it sort of takes a whole bunch of different photos and uh, puts them into one. Really, really nice. Uh, Snapdragon is awesome. It's fast. It's efficient. Um, no issues here. Um, other than that, that is uh, what I've been loving so far about this phone. The front-facing camera is awesome on here. The LG V30 front-facing camera wasn't all that great. But the front-facing camera on here is just awesome. But um, it has everything you could ever need in a phone. This is probably uh, the most versatile phone uh, the Samsung has out right now. Other than the Note 8. The Note 8 is more versatile because it has the S Pen. But this phone right here is the perfect phone, I think does everything you need to do without any hiccups and it does it right really really nice and i suggest you guys check one out and that is pretty much it those are my thoughts about two weeks in using the samsung galaxy s9 plus and i just wanted to share that with you guys give you some insight of how awesome this phone is so with that being said thank you guys for watching uh give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful or if you liked it, if you didn't like it, whatever, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.